In this video, I will be traveling to Michigan to summit Mount Arvon, the highest point in Michigan. Now that mountain is actually located in the upper peninsula of Michigan. So right now I am in Wisconsin at Tim's Hill. I just summited Tim's Hill, the tallest point in Wisconsin this morning. And I've got about a four hour drive to the upper peninsula of Michigan where I will be summiting Mount Arvon. If you've seen the other videos that I filmed over the past few days, you'll know that I am on a three day road trip across the Midwest to summit four state high points in Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Minnesota in that order. Kind of like Tim's Hill, Mount Arvon is located in a very secluded area. And so because of that, I don't really know if I'm gonna be able to drive all the way to the top or if I'm gonna have to hike part way or what that's gonna look like. So we'll have to figure that out when we get there. But like I said, it's a four hour drive. So let's hit the road and I will see you when we get there. Over the past 24 hours or so, I just keep passing more and more lakes. It is so crazy. Back in Idaho, we've got a lot of reservoirs, but not a lot of true lakes like this. Um, the Minnesota license plate on this rental car says that it's the land of 10,000 lakes. And I think that motto kind of translates well into some of these neighboring states too. I mean, just looking at this map of where I am, I am just surrounded by all kinds of water. That is crazy. Okay, I've made it pretty close to Mount Arvon. Right now I'm at the Zion Lutheran Church. So apparently this is kind of the landmark so you know how to get to the top of the mountain. So I guess the directions you get on Google Maps are no good. So my research told me to go to this Zion Lutheran Church and then follow the blue signs for Mount Arvon all the way up to the top. So let's go see if we can find some blue signs. Okay, just made it to the parking lot for Mount Arvon. And once again, I have the high point to myself. <laughs> three out of three high points I've done over the past few days, I've been all alone on. It's just kind of interesting. So a couple thoughts about the road that I just drove up. The road got a little bumpy and a little steep in places. Um, I was kind of glad to have the higher clearance in the Jeep. Um, but if you have experience with driving on rutted, bumpy roads, I think you could probably make it here in just about any car. I have a low clearance Subaru um, that I would have felt comfortable doing that drive in. Just would have taken it real slow and easy. Keep in mind though, that would change a lot if it was raining or muddy or, you know, over time the road can change. So as of now, the road's not bad, it's just a little bumpy. So if you've got experience on bumpy roads, I think you should be okay. Also, I think there is a hiking trail you can do that allows you to bypass that section of steep bumpy road that I just did. I don't really have any useful information about that. So you'd have to look online to get the details for it, but just wanted to put it out there that a hiking, I think hiking is an option. Okay, well here it is, the summit of Mount Arvon, the tallest point in Michigan. 
our elevation is 1,979 feet above sea level. And currently I'm standing higher than anybody else in the state of Michigan. I'd say today's hike from the car ended up being about 50 feet with probably 10 feet of vert. Very manageable hike. This is the first time I've been on the summit of one of these peaks and seen a memorial to the dead. I don't know if they're buried here or if they just really loved this place, but it looks like we have two memorials for loved ones that have passed. Oh, three, there's another one over here. Wow. Here we have the summit register. Let's see what kind of visitation we've had recently. Okay, I'm the first one here for today, which is really saying something because it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon. Looks like we had one yesterday and two the day before. So I guess this isn't a very popular spot either. Better sign my name. By the way, I forgot to mention that not only am I the only person up here, I also was the only person on the road all the way here from the Lutheran Church. So I, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I guess, I guess this is just kind of a secluded area that nobody goes to. Also, I should have brought bug spray. Ugh, haven't been prepared for these mosquitoes at all. They have been eating me alive. This high point is pretty cool. You probably won't really be able to tell from the footage, but you can tell just from looking around that you're on top of a hill here. Um, the only thing that would make it cooler is if there was a tower so I could see up above the trees and kind of see what the terrain looks like out here. Cause I'm buried in these trees. But there is a little viewpoint out right over here that I'm gonna show you right now. So here's the view. You can kind of see these trees in the foreground and then it kind of opens up into a valley, a wooded valley. And then way out there, that water, that is part of a bay that leads out into Lake Superior, one of the Great Lakes. So that's pretty cool. I was hoping I'd be able to see Lake Superior from up here and I guess that's, that's what I get. So I was saying that I wish there was a tower so I could see the terrain a little better. I'm gonna cheat and fly the drone so that you can see what this terrain looks like from above. So since I'm up here in the upper peninsula of Michigan, I'm kind of right now at the bottom of like, kind of like a finger that goes off into Lake Superior like this. You can see it on the map right there. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a little bit of a bonus to this video. I am gonna drive out to the tip of that, the northernmost tip in Michigan, and check out the sweeping views of Lake Superior um, out on the top of that finger. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna go get some bug spray and some food, and then we will drive out to the very tippy top of the Upper Peninsula. Here we go, I made it to the northernmost point in Michigan just in time to see the sunset. Right here on the shore of Lake Superior. This is gorgeous and huge. If I didn't know any better, I'd think I was standing on the edge of the ocean. I'm gonna set up my hammock and relax and I'm gonna let you watch the sunset. Here we go.
Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for my adventure here in Michigan. Coming out to this beach was the perfect way to end the day. It is just so beautiful and relaxing out here. I couldn't ask for more. So thanks for sticking around to see this little addition to my Michigan Hike Point video. My name's Kent, I make a lot of different kinds of adventure and travel videos. And currently, you might know by now that I'm on a three day road trip to hit four state high points in the Midwest. I've already summited Iowa, Wisconsin, and now Michigan. And then tomorrow, I'm traveling back over to Minnesota to summit Eagle Mountain, the highest peak in Minnesota. If you're interested in those high point videos, you might consider subscribing to my channel so that you can see the next one I'm about to film tomorrow and so you can see the old ones as well. I will link the playlist with all the state high point videos down in the description below and to the sides at the end of the video. Thanks again for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.